So I've got a lot done today. I've got the four, four end panels for this other crocodile pond. This is what it's going to end up looking like. Those are the lengths and those blocks are all the studs. Um, I'm running out of daylight and we got storms tomorrow so I don't know when I'll get it done. But I also hung rafters in here and that light. So this is a big, this is a big uh, pond. What it's going to be is there's going to be 15 inches of water and then probably 17 inches of usable space above that. Um, so I have these divided into two pieces, tops and bottoms, so that I can tuck the, uh, the liner between the two. Um, so I'm going to use two 45 mil EDPM rubbers, uh, rubber pond liners. And the second one there is only just in case they bite through the first one. But this, these ponds are going to be 10 feet by 4 feet. And I'm not really 100% sure if this floor is going to hold it. So I also got to put a floor in there. Uh, so this whole building sits on 4 by 4s but I'm going to do a 2 by 4 subfloor through here. And then I'm going to put plywood on top of that. So... Also, before I put all this together, I should probably insulate around it. Because right now, it's all just sitting here. It's all loose. Nothing screwed together yet. But there's going to be one here, and there's going to be one here. And then halfway up, all the way around the building, following the centerpieces of the windows, I'm going to have shelves for doing plants. So this is going to be a greenhouse and a crocodile enclosures, and uh, it's going to be awesome. Hope you guys uh, hope you guys stick around to see it.